strut does is it gives you a little bit more support. You don't want to use the strap to do the work for you. You don't want to have to put all the strength in your arms and feel like you're pulling the leg up. You still want to use your core, but it does give you a little extra support. So if you lift the leg with the strap and take the leg, I'm just going to take it out to the side. This is one we've been doing a lot. I can't see my leg out to the side. The opposite knee is slightly bent. It's a lot of work. You need the flexibility and the mobility. Your leg might not be lifted as high. But notice that it's not because I'm pulling and I'm keeping my chest lifted. The arm is by my side, but it is helping me. And then the other drill we've been doing, like after we do that, we'll take the leg behind us, and if you need one hand to hold on, use the hand to hold on. But if you have both hands available, then you can take the arms above your head and walk your hands up the strap, bring the foot towards you. You're also at the same time coming forward, so that you're getting the stretch not only in the low back contraction in the low back, but also the extension through the chest. So you're stretching your hip, you're uh, strengthening the back, you're contracting the low back and the upper back in between the shoulder blades, so you're opening the chest as well. And then we do it to the other side. So one side it can be a lot easier than the other side. But see how functional um, the strap can be. You just put it on the foot there and extend the leg. Take it up to the front. Still stay nice and um, lengthen through the body. There's a bend in the knee that you're stabilizing on. Hip knee angle of that leg should be aligned. And then take the leg out to the side. So any of my students, if they see this video, they're like, yeah, we've been doing this quite a bit. Um, in certain classes, not all of my classes are doing this, but this is how this shop is functional, right? And if you need to hold on with one hand, then you just hold on, and you can bring that strap over the shoulder, or you could, if you have both hands available, you can take the strap and walk your hands down the strap and then open through the chest. Breathe. And get that nice stretch. So that's a compound, compound movement as well. Those are compound movements as well because the leg that you're uh, it's balanced, of course, so it's core. The leg that you're stabilizing on, you're strengthening the hip, the knee, the ankle, um, and then you're working upper body. Muscles work in pairs, so there's muscles like here, chest are stretching, hip flexors stretching, and then upper back, lower back is contracting, so that's strengthening um, as well. So, anyways, there you go. A couple of things that you can do with the strap, functional things that you can do with the strap. And then this is the same strap that I use to roll up the mat and put it away. Cool, right? Yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. All right, my friends. Hi, Atrice. Good to see you. And, uh, yeah, if there's other things that maybe you have questions or something like that, then you can um, just send me a message and let me know. And maybe one of these days when I do a, a video, maybe not a live, because you know that gets you get kind of bold when you're doing balance stuff and you're doing lives. But I said what the heck today, so yeah, have a great day, okay, my friends. Bye.